say if it is not fun it's not guiding this is where i want to talk about our mother organization kenya girl guides association which is based at aboretum it is an organization that ensures that it empowers young girls where it ensures that young girls and women reach their fullest potential through mentorship programs leadership programs and training amongst others making them be better leaders so that they can live to the fullest potential and be whatever they want to be. Apart from just teaching you, they also let you go out into the world so that you can learn more and interact. That is why I'm happy to announce that Kenya has gotten two participants that they're sending them to South Africa and Burundi, part of the YES program in partnership with Norway. And we are hoping that it will not be just a one-time thing. It is something that will grow and it will ensure that there will be women in future who are very powerful, that they can also impact and make a change in other young girls. Thank you so much for being part of Kenya and coming for the training. I love pets. <laughs> I also love. Uh, I love reading. I love making friends. I love smiling. I love modeling. I also love uh, networking with new people. Uh, I joined the Kenya Girl Guide Association uh, when I was in study four. That is in the year 1999. I have grown in the movement, I have grown in all aspects, I've grown also in my leadership skills, I have gone through all the guiding branches, that is I've been, I've been a brownie, I've been a girl guide, I've been a ranger and now a young leader. I am now serving in the position of the National Deputy Chairperson of the Young Leaders in Kenya. The kind of position that I hold, I have to send people and also get to know what exactly they really need from me since I'm serving as a leader. I have to be a team player, not the boss. My journey in girl guiding has been a, has been a smooth one, not without challenges, but it has been a, it has been a learning experience. All to, I'm happy to be. Uh, a participant of this exchange program and I hope to gain a lot of knowledge that, we, that I will use first and foremost to improve my leadership skills and also to help my fellow young leaders in this country. Thank you. Uh, uh, at Kenya Girl Guide Association based at Kimalel campsite. I represent Baringo County. Um, I, I'm a third born in a family of five with uh, three sisters and one brother. <laughs> Tudo tá 
I was raised by a single mother. Her name is Farida Haji. I graduated in Nigato University with a Bachelor's of Science in Ecotourism and Hospitality Management. I've been in, in guiding since I was in I was six years old. My whole family members are are in guiding. I'm based at Kimalel campsite where I've been volunteering as a guide in various activities, camping and other activities at the campsite. We have been having the exchange program with the Kent East Guides whereby our girl guides from Baringo County exchange with the Kent East Guides from UK. Uh, my hobbies, uh, I love swimming and reading novels. I'm so excited to be in the YES program. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this experience in Burundi. We are going to share ideas, we are going to interact, learn more of their cultures and have a great exchange program. I'm excited to be in the YES program and hope to bring best practices to my host organization. Thank you. My name is Maureen Delia, Youth Coordinator of the Association. We're very happy as an association for the Youth Exchange Program, the, the YES Youth Exchange Program. It's going to be a learning process for everybody, uh, inclusive of Mag Ma Margaret and Sultana, and we wish them all the best as they go forward to uh, South Africa and Burundi, and we hope that they're going to learn a lot, and at the same time come and share their experiences share their learnings with us as Kenya Cultures Association in order to be able to grow the youth organization, our youth um, organization and also improve on our youth policy. As for those we are expecting, that is Martha and Ines, we welcome them very much to Kenya Cultures Association. We look forward to training them a lot and at the same time we look forward to learning a lot from them. Thank you very much and all the best.